how the heck do you preserve your twists and your breakouts? I cannot speak for curls. Curls, everyone's doing the whole pineapple method. I just can't get with the pineapple method. It doesn't work for me. Just can't. But for my twist outs and my braid outs, I have found a way to preserve it. Because what I used to do is I used to take my scarf and I either tab, have a satin scarf and have a satin bonnet. The bonnet, I would just, you know, put on, tuck the hair under. And when I woke up, it was like, because my hair was like loose under the bonnet, it was like lopsided over here and over there and over. It was just like, ugh. I still had to work on it and make it look right and fix it. And with the with my head scarf that I would just battery die. That I would just tie around my my head. And I didn't like it, it was more for me to work with in the morning trying to fix and adjust it. So I've come up with a technique that works for me. It could work for you, but it definitely works for me. Now what I do is I tuck my hair take my hair and I start twisting it I'm twisting it till I get to the back and then I pin it pin it. I don't have another clip on me right now, but so that's what I would do. I tuck it and I pin it and then I would tie my headscarf on. So when I get up in the morning, I just take the clips out, shake my hair, and that's about it. I don't have to really fluff it. And plus, it stretches the um, twist. So if you're also having an issue with shrinkage, you want more stretch to your twist, to your hair. By doing that, it pulls the hair. It doesn't pull the twist out, but it just pulls it down so that, you know, you have your style on the way it is. And it also preserves it at the same time. So that's how I preserve my hair when I twist it or braid it out now.